I'm Tamara and today we are going to compare the Brother CS6000i against the Brother CS7000i. And by the end of this video you will know which one you want to buy. Let's jump into it. Alright, so for the sake of this comparison I am going to show you all of the similarities on my CS6000i. This particular machine looks very similar to the other machine and there is a good reason for that. A lot of the features are the same. They both have 850 stitches per minute, as well as a built-in free arm with accessory storage, a removable extension table, a speed controller, an LCD screen that lets you choose the stitch that you want and it will suggest what foot you need to use with it, as well as your stitch length and your stitch width, automatic buttons for your needle position, your reverse or reinforcement stitch, as well as your start and stop button, as well as a light over the foot, and an easy to access tension wheel. They both have an easy threading system to follow, as well as a bobbin winder an automatic needle threader. They both have a quick set bobbin installation. Of course, they both have access to manually turn the wheel when you need it. And if you turn the machine around, there's a button on the back that will allow you to lower the feed dogs, which is helpful if you want to do freehand quilting. And I have also looked online and they both have a 25 year limited warranty. I would recommend that you check out the warranty uh, from whatever group that you're buying this machine from just to make sure that it's still that 25 year limited warranty, but I have seen that on a lot of different sites that I checked out when I was doing this research. So now that we've gone through everything that's the same on this sewing machine, I do want to talk about everything that comes in the accessory pouch. They are also all of the same. And then once I go through that, let's jump right on into those differences. All right, so the accessory pack will come with your extension table and both machines will come with that nice large quilters extension table, as well as the manual, of course. And then the accessory pack itself will come with a cleaning brush, screwdriver, spool pin that you could put on the top of your machine, an eyelet punch, three bobbins, although I suggest you buy more, as well as this seam ripper, two needle sets, a twin needle, presser foot, and hardcover case to protect that beautiful sewing machine of yours. Now that we've gone through all of those similarities, let's talk about the differences. So the first difference between the sewing machines is the sewing feet themselves. So the CS7000i will come with 10 sewing feet and the CS6000i will come with nine sewing feet. A buttonhole foot, overcasting foot, monogramming foot, zipper foot, zigzag foot, blind stitch foot, button fitting foot, quilting foot, walking foot with the quilting guide. The sewing foot that is extra is called the quarter inch quilters sewing foot, which to be honest, I wish I had. <laughs> it would be really nice to have if you're interested in quilting. So that's something to consider. Another thing as far as the differences between the two sewing machines go is the CS6000i has 60 different stitches. The CS7000i will come with 70 different stitches. All right, so those extra stitches that you get with the CS7000i, that particular machine will come with a few fancier stitches and some nicer quilter stitches. I don't know if that matters to you. You can actually have a look at the different pictures. I'll put those up right here so that you can compare and you should be able to see that there is a few different stitches that are not shown on the CS6000i. So between the sewing feet and the different stitches, you can look at the differences as far as the weight goes. The CS6000i is a bit lighter than the CS7000i by a couple of pounds and the dimensions. So the CS6000i is about a half an inch smaller than the CS7000i. And finally, let's talk about what is missing on this sewing machine. The one thing that it does not have that I wish that it had is the automatic thread cutter. However, if it had that, I think the machine would cost a lot more. So just going over to the side and snipping your thread by sliding it over that little blade there, that's perfectly fine. 
I have both of these sewing machines linked down below if you're interested in checking them out. I always appreciate it if you click on my links. It really helps me out as I have affiliate links there and those affiliate links help me keep making these videos for free for you. My personal opinion, if you can afford it, just go for the CS7000i. You get that quarter inch quilter's foot. You get those extra stitches to play around with and in the end you just get a newer model. But if you're looking for a good deal, go for that CS6000i. It really does not make a big difference between the two. So if you're interested in any other tutorials, I'm going to be doing a whole series on how to sew for beginners. I would highly recommend subscribing, clicking that thumbs up button, and of course ringing that notification bell as it will remind you the next time a new video goes up. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy sewing. Bye!